Welcome back to Who Would Watch This Minis. I spy with my, my little, little eye. eye. Some Junie getting sucked into a video <laughs> game. Uh oh. That's right. We're talking about Spy Kids 3D. Not the mysterious island. No. The other one. That's right. The first one. They're two spy kids <laughs> saving the world from thumb people. Great film. Magical. They're like, make another. Steve Buscemi's on an island. He's making little animals. Combine Scorpion them. ape. Yes. Spider ape, sorry. Spider ape. Spider ape and a spear. Yeah, it's powerful stuff. It's great. Uh-oh. Doom, doom. Game over. That's right. This is also Spy Kids 3D. Because it's in 3D. That's, That's how right. good it is. And it currently has a 45% on Rotten Tomatoes, a 4.3 on IMDb, and a 2.3 on Letterbox. Oscar, what's the plot? Of Spy Kids 3D or 3 D, like Piranha. It's a kid's movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, those kids got big breasts. <laughs> Roger, uh, what's the Rodriguez's Robert go? Rodriguez. Yeah, Robert's just like, 3 D, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I want Sylvester Stallone with our jugs, just some jugs. <laughs> Carmen, who's Junie's sister, is caught in a virtual reality video game designed by kids' new nemesis, the toy maker. It's up to Junie to save her sister and ultimately the world. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's intriguing. Mm -hmm. That is intriguing. Um, Oscar, me, you and some friends, we were all having a little summer vacation. Mm -hmm. We decided to, when we were hungover, watch Spy Kids 2. Mm -hmm. It resulted in us watching Spy Kids 3D. Of course. How well did you remember this one? Because I was thrown by its quality. <laughs> <laughs> I remember plot points mm. in it a more just like my childhood emotion of like that looks sick yeah uh, it was immediately met with the realization that these are just children on a green screen acting a muck acting a fucking no muck. wonder these movies were so cheap to make oh yeah this one cost like 39 million made like a hundred mil yeah he made this in his garage pretty much that's why Carmen's the... barely in it she was just like I'm not coming to the garage again uh, Roger, can, I some, Robert. can I get paid for this one she's like no yeah get yeah not in the film yeah I got paid for the second one <laughs> why would you get paid a third time <laughs> This is also like an Avengers-esque film because all of the characters come back from the previous two. Now, hang on. They're back, but it's at the right. It's like if Avengers was like pretty much a standalone Hawkeye film and then right at the end, everyone kind of came through a portal and went, hey. Yeah, but also they weren't there the same day as shooting. So they're <laughs> all really distanced by green screen. Like, I'm on this side of the road. Uh-oh. Hi, Captain America. None of the eye lines meet up. It's like... <laughs> Could you imagine if that was the Avengers movie of just like it a... made four billion dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody looks at one another. All you know that... edited. Everybody was a diva on set. You know that funeral scene where it's like famous because they got everyone on set. It's yeah. just just a bunch of strangely sized miniatures of them, <laughs> like some claymation. They just couldn't. They snapped in any visual effect. It's all one single man standing in different spots with the face stitched on <laughs> digitally. <laughs> They were like, what we did with the Oompa Loompas? Do that, but with Chris Pratt face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Spy Kids 3D. I loved this as a kid. I don't yeah. think I'd actually really seen it much since cinemas. I remember it blew my mind. I'm pretty sure the movie, when it was in cinemas, did the whole, like, now put on your 3D glasses, it didn't did. it? It did. Yeah. It was great. The DVD that we watched, a thumb man from the first one was like, put them on, oh, put them right. on. But essentially, cut. <laughs> it opens as like a noir. I kind of love it. It's a, it's the movie never gets better than its beginning. Yeah, which is a shame because it starts so strong. Selena Gomez in her first acting role is just like she's killing. She it. hires a uh, Juni as a private PI, <laughs> which is. <laughs> To find out why the water parks are closed, only for him to be like, it's winter. Yeah. <laughs> They're all closed Damn. in winter. Shit. He's pretty much saving up money because he wants to buy this famous like game that's coming out. I think it's so funny. He walks to the store to go buy it with his comically... Every all kids have like, those piggy banks. Oh, God. Different characters. Did you have a piggy bank when you were young? I did. I did. But mainly because films had told me I need one. <laughs> I had one of those ones that was like a can mm -hmm. and it had like the $10 oh, thing around it. Yeah, the $10. So the only way you could get it was like you had to get a can open. I don't think I've ever opened one of those. I don't think I've ever seen anyone open them. Yeah, you get the little can open and you're like, how much money did I save? And you're like, ah, oh, 
Oh, fuck, I didn't. Nickels. Nickels? <laughs> They're not even our currency here. How'd I get up? Why did Dad pay me in nickels for mowing the lawn? How rude. Oh, it's so funny, though. Junie, like, walks up to the game store, and as he's, like, about to buy the game, a man a, in a wheelchair is, like, window wiping. It's just with a charity sign. He's like, <laughs> maybe I should do right. And then he trips and doesn't do anything right. And all the money blows away in yeah. the wind, except for the nickels, because uh, they're yeah. heavy. Very heavy. Very heavy. They didn't the coin. ground he then gets fined for ruining <laughs> property <laughs> and coins because they're both property it's true the conceit of him being sucked in is like i i love the like what they bring back the villain from the second one and he's yeah. all like i'm good now yeah. and now i help with it was weird watching this like after immediately watching the second one yeah so i feel like most people didn't binge these <laughs> going up so when we kind of when he popped up we're like we he was an antagonist for Mo. He was a very bad man. He created, um, what's a King of the Hill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that actor create King of the Hill? <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, I don't think people are meant to be like, do we do a Spy Kids night? Let's begin on normal 2D TV and end on Smellovision and Joel McHale. <laughs> well, imagine that four, three TVs you need for, the, for a binging. Lord of the Rings didn't even ask you of that. You need a fourth TV for the smell of vision? Yeah, of course. Hey, I was going to sniff. I love it comes out of the speakers. Like, You've ruined the speakers. <laughs> There's a stench. Incense has just clogged it up. ooze coming out my speakers? God, it's ghastly. Why is this film set in a stump? Oh my God. It's a mean thing to say about Jeremy Piven. Fuck Jeremy Piven. How dare you? Clearly not an entourage fan. <laughs> What's this tattoo show? <laughs> <laughs> You spelt it wrong. You wrote entourage. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Why have you got little uh, little French apostrophes over all the letters? It looks <laughs> fancy. It kind of gives off a French vibe. It's you know, it's very entourage. <laughs> <laughs> Come over to my house. I can't do accents. And I don't know the movie. You immediately I, I don't, the Borat. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know how. Inter- I don't. Are they car guys who are sexist? Is that the plot? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, so once Junie gets put into the game, I gotta tell you, these graphics do not hold up. <laughs> this is some of the. If you want to see how poorly eight movies have aged, watch a Robert Rodriguez film that has a three D element. <laughs> It's funny because he was like, right after this, like, you know what? I think the adults are ready for this. Sin City. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's so hyper stylized, isn't mm. he? Has he done anything that isn't hyper stylized? Four rooms. No, that was kind of fun. Who do you stand on Elite Battle Angel? I like Elite Battle Angel. I, I was, I, I think a lot of people went in with that with no expectations, except I'd only been told by people it's great. Right. And when okay. you go into I I just kind of thought it was just Astro Boy. I didn't like Astro Boy. Do you remember that kids film from ages ago? No. I know, know what Astro Boy is. I didn't see it. I thought it was very similar to that. But people, I, I'll say this right now. When Edward Norton shows up at the end <laughs> in a white wig, I was floored on the plane. I had no one to chat to either. So I was like, oh, Edward Norton was in this film. I lived a sheltered childhood from Astro Boy because I'm convinced my parents didn't want me to learn that I too was a robot. <laughs> I can't get ideas. I wasn't allowed to watch iRobot. I wasn't allowed to watch. Dad was paying you a nickel. Oh. He's like, go and repair your arms. Anytime I wanted to watch Bicentennial Man, he was like, no. And you stay away from AI artificial intelligence as well. And I was like, no. But Dad, iRobot's on. Don't you dare look at Will Smith. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. It was fun, though. I wasn't allowed to do any washing up, so that was a win. <laughs> Were you a robot or a mermaid? <laughs> I can't touch water. I'm like Luca. I'm like if a little bit of water hits me, I'm like, oh no, I'm Luca. <laughs> Big fan of Luca. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad was not why he banned you from water activities and the south of Italy. <laughs> oh, I know. I've never tasted pasta in my life. Come to think of it, I've never had a meal. <laughs> oh my God, maybe I am a robot. <laughs> God, him goes with oil. <laughs> Go for a drink right now. I'm creaky. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't allowed to watch uh, Wizard of Oz either. I refuse to let me have a heart. <laughs> Don't you get ideas? You'll also want to go home, and you'll get courage, and then you'll rebel against me. You're child. not a lion. <laughs> your, da- your dad was like, "You're not. You're not a lion. No courage for you." I was like, "Ah, oh, but I am <laughs> suckering succotash. I want some courage." <laughs> I feel like that was pretty good. Should we get up the YouTube to see how my accent compared? I think I'm on the rails with that. I don't know. Uh, I'm a lion. 
Uh, I need some courage in my porridge. Uh. Oh, God. Audience members, let, it, let us know if this isn't landing, because on our end, it's all hitting. Uh. <laughs> here, here. Go away and let us alone. Oh, scared, huh? Afraid, huh? I want you to stay fresh in that can. <laughs> <I'm> nearly... <laughs> oh, I need some courage. <laughs> Why is the lion like Brooklyn? <laughs> he's like from the, like a dodgy part of New York. He's like, hey, walk yeah, I'm walking here. I'm a fucking lion. <laughs> oh, man. Here's the thing: we both agree. We're both great at impressions. Oh god. Okay, it looks like we're pivoting into just roasting the Wizard of Oz. I don't believe in Technicolor. <laughs> there, I'll say it now. <laughs> I would prefer this if the film stayed in black and white and the tornado. That's a much interesting a story. How will she survive? Now I've seen Wicked, I can't help but weep when she dies. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Spy Kids 3. They yeah. get thrown in. It's funny CGI because it's definitely the worst part of the whole thing. And it's such a shock to your system. Because the first level's like a shitty... Uh, Almost like uh, Sims. Yeah, like a baby. Like open world baby. Yeah. But it's like they have full reign of the city, but it's like gain coins by jumping. Yeah. It's. it's yeah. A, anyway, second level. Goes to space. Fights in a robot. Mm. Finds the glitch. That's a spoiler. Yeah, soz guys. And who's the glitch? Isn't that Elijah Wood? No, 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 no. Is that somebody else? That's the, that's the guy. I thought the guy was the glitch. No, no, no. This girl's the glitch. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 God, it is a cracking script. Yeah, that's the thing. You just don't expect it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Twist galore. How do we think Sylvester Stallone's acting is in this film? I think he's having fun, and that's all that matters. Mm, I think he didn't leave his lounge room. Well, like, most didn't. I don't, I, he, George Clooney didn't. <laughs> yeah. Robert Rodriguez French knocked on his door. He's like, hey, can you film these scenes? He's like... Come into my library that looked like the president's home. He's like, I remember have... when we did till dusk till dawn? <laughs> and he's like, oh, fuck. Uh, you know where I live now? You look at the call sheet. <laughs> Love it if his whole house just looked like the sets of ER. <laughs> <laughs> to George Clooney, his glory days were when he was on ER. And he's like, I'm just looking for a jolt ahead God, I, of what it God, felt I like. Peaked. I peaked there. <laughs> That's really uh, Ocean Thirteen ridiculous. <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh goodness! Well, there's a reason I didn't come for Ocean's Eight. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Ocean's Thirteen burned me out. <laughs> I'd like he walking around his house. He's like, none of these rooms look like a president suite. They're all hospital beds. Why do you, why do you have so many of these hospital beds, man? It's like, how do you think I've stayed fifty since I was thirty? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an IV drip at all time. I don't even know what's in this. It's blue. <laughs> it just hooks into an avatar. Just. Just Sam Worthington just being like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> He's sucking Sam Worthington's career and life force. Like, <sighs> He's like, things aren't going well. I'm onto the Clash of the Titans phase in his career in IV drip form. It's near poisonous. I'm saving Avatar 2 for a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get to Hacksaw Ridge soon and so we'll get another bump up. <laughs> Let's smash through this. We got the we got the, uh, the, the robot fighting ring. Yeah. Kind of fun. They go back down to Earth. I don't know. I do remember the movie, once it goes back into the Earth realm, is like bizarre. <laughs> yeah, because then they go to like that like spy area. They're doing like some weird stuff. I remember the car race. I kind of wanted to talk about the car race. Yeah, the car race is pretty big. Yeah. I remember thinking that looked amazing as a child. It looks like thumbtacks. It looks terrible. Clay. I think in comparison to something like Speed Racer, which is hyper stylized, yeah. it seems to look better because it's so specifically stylized and cartoonish. It's aging less quick. I think it's kind of, it, it, the the sort of shittiness of Speed Racer, the CGI kind of works with that one. Mm. It's kind of like, look, the original was kind of bad animation. So we're kind well, of... it's like a film superimposed over almost the background drawings of the Speed Racer cartoon. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, I think one of the things that threw me as a kid is I was like, man, can't wait to see uh, these two kids. I love I love spy kids. Mm. As a child, I want to see kids do spy-esque things. Of course. And this movie's just like, what if you spend a lot of your time with the grandpa, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The the game makers like Junior. You can pick anybody. Let's go through them. Your mum, a great spy, <laughs> literally able to walk. Just on the uh, you got Antonio Banderas. He's literally guarding this. He can't lose. He quickly glosses over the grandpa. He's like, all right, he's a great. He's an old fool, 
and can't walk. <laughs> I love this. They're like, Junie, pick the person whose paycheck would be the cheapest. And he's like, all right then. <laughs> Ooh, no name old person. Nailed it. Hey, don't be so mean. That's Ricardo Montalban. I mean, he is in things. I he will I will the, say it. Sorry. I'll say he, this right now. I, my, I don't know why, but my dad was watching this film with me. And he was like, oh, I hate that man. But when we watched it together? No, no, no. It wasn't, oh, it wasn't thank God. Stop. He was just in the corner. Just like, hey, do you mind if I just watch this for a little? Do you mind if I bump it? But as a child, I watched it. He was like, I hate that man. I'm like, who's that? He was like, that's um, Charlton Heston. You know, the gun guy? <laughs> and for ages, I thought that this man was like a gun lobbyist. So I was like, don't like that, Grandpa. Don't like that. Gr-. Not him. Uh, my dad was confused. He was. Was he thinking of Planet of the Apes? Yeah, That's he was. Charlton Heston. Yeah, he was that. Imagine being like, ah, oh, look at all of this game terminology. Wait until they get to the end and it turns out it's Earth. <laughs> It's just a big Pac-Man statue, just like, <laughs> God fucking damn it. One of the ghosts, just like eyes crossed out, dead in the sand. <laughs> God, it's touching though, you know, you can't make that ending. It is touching. I always get this ending really, it's so similar to Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Like it's, I almost feel like they filmed them at the same time and they were like, all right, get the actors out of this and put in the kids from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. What are you talking about? The ending could not be more They different. both just go to the same green screen earth location and fight a big thing. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. This is an emotional payoff. See, Grandpa... An emotional payoff? Grandpa has a feud with Sylvester Stallone. He pretty much destroys the whole mission to kill him. It's very strange. He releases the toy maker. I feel like you didn't absorb what you were watching. I don't know. I might have been trying to cook wedges in the kitchen. <laughs> Watch it a little bit out of my eye, being like, I don't know, should we do this on the podcast? <laughs> I got the gist, I got the gist. I got the gist, I'm going to find some... Girl. <laughs> they're in a cookie forest, they're, they're like, a, like a tornado and like a sparky man. I think I got the vibe, I got the vibe, I got the gist, I got the gist. <laughs> don't worry, I'm just going to fill it with a lot of Wizard of Oz conversation. <laughs> don't worry, I know how to pad this out, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Wizard of Oz I'm like, what you like? I got the gist. I got the gist. What is it like a like a like a like a lion with like a stutter? Yeah, th- this makes sense. It's like a, it takes place somewhere over the rainbow, right? <laughs> somewhere over there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, Junie. A house falls on a witch. <laughs> <laughs> he's the witch, or he's the house, or the shoes. Who's Junie to you? Uh, the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Do we think they're gonna make another one of these? Um, what? apparently, well, like he, uh, he's done that weird shark boy and lava girl Oh, show. we can be heroes. Yeah. yeah. Nobody watched that. No one watched that. <laughs> didn't and even it, hear about it really. No, didn't even make a splash. They were like an iCarly reboot. What about shark boy and lava girl? <laughs> <laughs> got the same reaction from everybody. But they didn't get Taylor Lautner. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I think they got her though. I think so. But I mean, it's like. You've got to get to... Imagine like, if that was his comeback. Yeah, that's like, what I was going to say. Christian Stewart. <laughs> Robert Patterson's got Batman, Christian Stewart's got an Oscar nomination, and Taylor Lautner's like, we're bringing back Shark Boy and Lava Girl. <laughs> I peaked when I was nine, and yet I'm going to ride that forever. We're bringing back Abduction. <laughs> we're bringing back Traces. I think those are the only three movies I was in. We're bringing back Cheaper by the Dozen. <laughs> Can I come back for that? <laughs> Can you imagine he's like a homeless guy? Just like, ah, oh, come on, guys. Things went downhill once my dad left me for Shit's Creek. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of connect the dots there for the listener at home. I hope you're well-versed into pop culture like me. I hope you have some, like, drawing pads and you're just, like, drawing the dots. You're like, okay, so we've got to get to Cheaper by the Dozen 2. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think they're going to prey on our childhood with this. Yeah. I mean, like, the the one that's married to What's-Her-Face. Oh, I don't know, actually. The fourth he'll one come back. flopped. Yeah, but it didn't have the... Like, I think the originals cameoed in it, but it wasn't about them. Yeah. You need to have, like... I need to have Antonio Banderas back uh, and the Gina Carra... Uh, what's, her, what's her name? Carla Genia. Yeah, yeah. She needs to come back. And they're going to be the grandparents. You kill off the older ones. Oh, God. I hope Ricardo isn't dead. Because he better make it for Spike. I mean, as a gun lobbyist. Yeah, I mean, you know, he... Oh, he died. He died. died. What about the other woman? Nah, she's still kicking. She's still kicking. Get her on screen. I feel like you should get Charlton Heston in the wheelchair. Oh, he's dead. Surely Charlton Heston's dead. Get his animated body and... I mean, he's in a wheelchair. You can bring it. You know what? Why even bring... You don't need to bring anybody back. Just a wheelchair. CGI at all. (laughs) Just a wheelchair. CGI everybody in. 
What if the backgrounds are real and everyone was in it with CGI? That'd be fun. That could be fun. That could Very be fun. Cheap. Yeah, that'd be. Would it be cheaper to CGI the backgrounds and have actors, or CGI the actors and have backgrounds? It must be cheaper. I'm sure filming a park must be very cheap, unless he's like going for like Spike. In fairness, if you had to like practically make Spy Kids five, it might be a very expensive. I would love if they did a gritty reboot. Of Spy Kids 5. I'd like but it with the same CG level. <laughs> it's essentially Sin City. <laughs> <laughs> Judy just smashing a yellow guy. Uh, I'd watch that. Did anybody watch Sin City 2? I haven't seen it, but no. I love the first Sin City. Yeah, I think I liked it. Yeah. And then I don't think anyone saw that one. But I don't remember everyone... A no Dame to Kill For. No one said it was bad, but no one said it was good. I, it literally faded away. Yeah. I don't know who was in it that mattered. I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt was in it. Was Bruce Willis back in it? I don't know. I don't know if people came back. Elijah Woods and Spy Kids 3. Oh, we connected it back. Yeah. Oh, Oscar, who would watch Spy Kids 3D game over? Carl, let's say you're a child in a car crash. <laughs> You've lost both your eyes. Yeah. The doctor's like, shit, I've got two here, but that one's red, one's blue. <laughs> Guess what? You've got a movie ready to go. You get to watch so many films now without having to wear the glove. What a miracle. Yeah, you lost your mum and dad in the accident. But... Imagine you're popping this like it's videotape. It's a videotape. It was still around then. You're not wearing the flimsy paper glasses. You're just sitting down and enjoying it. That uh... thumb says put it on. You're like, don't need it. God, I'm hungry. Mum and dad haven't fed me. I hope the film gives me some nourishment. Do you reckon it makes normal life 2D? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, everything's flat now and I hate it. I can only live 3D when I watch an old film made in the 1990s to early 2000s with blue and red. <laughs> oh, no. Carl, who would watch... Uh, other than children in horrific accidents, who would watch Spy Kids 3? If for some reason you started with smell-o-vision and you were like, ugh, I wish it was 3D, but without the smell, it's the same quality. I, <laughs> the what do we, Where do we think these land? Do we, we, we didn't mind watching the second one, did we? I it was think, fine. I think the second one's pretty... Uh, I'm not going to say strong. It's good for a kid's old, like... Pre what kid films are now. Yeah. I God, mean, they're good now. There's so much better, God. aren't they? <laughs> I mean, they're so much better, but they're actually really for us. Like, people, yeah. no kids watching Soul. <laughs> <laughs> God, I gotta tell you, when I was like, man, I need to appreciate life more after Soul, I was like, I'm too touched. Way too touched by Soul. Are kids watching Soul? Who's oh, watching? What, what, how's it going to affect a kid? The kid's like, oh, I guess I gotta take care of life at the age of six. <laughs> I'm weeping because I'm like, I'm a creative and I'm never gonna get there. <laughs> It's like Inside Lewin Davis, but for children. Why would anyone make that film? Pixar, you cruel fucks. Oh, God. They know how to play us. They know how to play us. They do know that it's not kids watching that. It's 25 year olds going that are trying to relive their childhood. And they're like, you know what? I'm going to kick you in the face. <laughs> Fuck you. Absolutely. It's do you too. like these films? And they wanted you to aspire to do art. Guess what? You're going to fail. It's also like they're animated, but they're trying to get them more and more realistic. Yeah. So they're just like, we might as well be making a film. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that like the only original movies now are pretty much just Pixar films. Yeah. Like a high budget film that is an original script just made by Pixar. <laughs> It's funny that like a director would be like, I've got this cracking script for a man who's struggling. They're like, cool. Can you make it an animated Pixar film? Uh, I uh, guess so. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally what they did. They were like, what if most of the movie focused on jazz? Kids will eat it up. <laughs> Get the people that scored the social network to do the score of this one. Oh. <laughs> Oscar, what are we reviewing next week? We're solving a crime <laughs> in Rome. <gasps> Is there an albino? Oh, Paul Bettany does make an appearance. Based on the best-selling book nobody likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> it comes a movie everybody saw and hates. <laughs> <laughs> Will Jesus be a woman? Maybe. <laughs> Will they end up exactly where they started? Probably. Oh, thank you for listening. Bye.